Amigo, if you are thirsty, would it not be more polite to ask permission first? Put your hands off me, sir. Hey, are you deaf, amigo? No, Ramon. I heard you the first hey, time. Hey, Jim! You cover your tracks pretty well. <laughs> so you are my shadow. I should have guessed sooner. How is it that you found me? I followed you with this, Ramon. And the smell of that whiskey. Why, my friend? You're needed back there. It is finished. You cannot change fate. That part of my life is finished. Why not begin again with me? You are crazy, my friend. My return would only cause you strife with the Gonzales. It's not much of a life for a man. Selling whiskey. A man must do what he thinks best in life. You know that that is right. Ramon, you're running. Unless, of course, that's what you call peace of mind. Well, is that it? Why did you come back and work for me at Inglesias Romita? No deal. You already have enough trouble with those dogs, the Gonzales. And you know what would happen. Amigo, it is too much of a risk to take. My return would be the excuse they are looking for to get at you. It's true. And blood would flow. I am content in the mountains where the air is free. It is good that a man grows old, in peace, in a world which he has created, and not somebody else. The Gonzales force ideals on everyone, but not on me. It wouldn't be the same if you started over. We could handle them together. No one can make those men change. You are dreaming, friend. It is the affare de Dios. Se Dios quiere. But I say this to you, gringo. Take great care. Your cause is just. But if you take food from the jaguar's mouth, he will try to kill you. And the jaguar is... Gonzalo. Friends at Inglesias Romita have forgotten about the web, no? <laughs> but you will remind them. You will remind them not only of the whip, but also of the power of the Gonzales. And they'll see you as a hero. I have planned a great martyrdom for you, my dear Miguel. <laughs> you should be honored. Take him away. We must make a definite decision. 
Jim Lattimore, in possession of land that for six generations had belonged to our family, to the Rio Grande de la Frontera. It is a situation that cannot be tolerated any longer. Inglesias Robita is like a worm in an apple, and it is right here, in the center of our land. It has become a danger. Our peons are restless. Many have found work at Inglesias. Many will follow. That bastardo Americano, Jim Latimer, a foreigner, a filthy parasite. Before he ruins everything, we must kill him. If you had listened to me, he would be dead already. He's right. Three years back, when Uncle Ramirez was dying, before the will was read, that's when the gringo should have been killed. Maybe you're right. But I have waited for a better opportunity. Whenever possible, I prefer to do things within the law. It avoids trouble. And I have looked for a way to be rid of that damned gringo without any risk. Now I know how it can be done. I will explain. It came to me when we captured that peasant, that uh, Miguel. Latimore is going to see the spectacle I have prepared. It is certain that when he does, he will react. I have waited two years for this moment. And what of our little cousin, Rosita? Don't speak of her as our cousin. She married a gringo. She is filth. She will suffer for it, don't worry. But uh, be patient. We must deal with Latimore first. Afterwards, we may decide what to do with our cousin, Rosita. Come here. Bonito. Come on. Come on. There. Come to Mama. That's the way. No, don't cry, Bonito. Don't cry. There. There you are. He is cold, and I must dress him, Signora. Oh, Wait. no, Maria. Just leave him with me for a moment. What is this, baby? seen you for four days. Do you realize? I'm sorry, my love. I was up in the hills trying to find that old friend of mine. I know you were. Well, did you? Yeah. And he said no, too. I was hoping he'd have changed. Now, I know it'll never happen. Rosita, our happiness in life consists of things like the house, the land, and our child. Unfortunately, that's what Ramon lost. His will to build again is broken. I sure wish I'd persuaded him. Then it looks like I shall never get to meet any of your old friends, my Jim. Right now, Ramon would say... Quien sabe. Se Dios quiere. <laughs> hey, Pepito, how are you, little one? Give us a smile. No. <laughs> All right, I'll settle for a kiss then. Senor, the heads of the families are waiting. Well, thank you, Manola. Come on, darling. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Hola, buenos dias. In accordance with the agreement we drew up last year, anything that is harvested as from tomorrow is to be shared among your families. You don't need to thank anyone. It's the fruit of your work, and therefore you're right. You're as essential to Inglesias Romita as my wife is to me. You have worked alone without supervision, and you have shown that men who are happy in their work are those who work well. Freedom in your work is a joy that all of you here are entitled to. Let no man ever take it away. Manolo, what is it? Tell me. Senor, it is Miguel. Well, go on. The Rio Grande de la Frontera has taken him prisoner. Jim!
Pedro, place the men. Bueno, señor. Benedicat vos omnipotens Deus, Pater et Filius et Spiritus Sanctus. Stands here waiting for the noose. Look at him for the last time, but remember well the reason he dies. He has been condemned by the law of the Gonzales. And like him will die all those who forget their loyalty to Rio Grande de la Frontera. Miguel was judged guilty, and so he will hang. It's a trap, senor, a trap. Try it your way. 
Pedro. Si, senor. Cross the Rio Grande. Go and get El Matanza. <laughs> She's willing. <laughs> May he curse you. May God curse you. You pig of a dirty gringo. You preferred him to a Gonzalez. A Gonzalez. Gonzalez. Like me.
kind of a hole is this? long, Dora. I know we'll meet again. I'd like that. Adios. This here is the one. Adios. Yeah, I shall hold. You leaving now? Sure. As soon as we stocked up on supplies. Got a long way to go, so if you think that wheel will hold, I'd just as soon prefer to keep it moving. I'll take that. Double whiskey for me, whiskey tequila for him. Isn't that right, Ramon? Yes, it is.
Hey, John! Always the same. Well, you couldn't even say howdy. Boy, did the East ruin you. I don't see Alan. He's already here. He'll be down soon. He's on business. Mr. Over there. They are the town professionals. Head goes dum dum dum. Oh. oh, you're way off. It's bum bum bum. Listen, pretty boy. I say it's bam bam bam. <laughs> when I say it goes. <laughs> kitchen? Vamos, vamos, there are thirsty men out here. Come on. What's the matter? They're not going to eat you. Come on now, girl, they're only people.
Lester, I'd hate to think you had extra cards. It's much safer to keep your hands where a man can see them. I agree. I apologize, friend. You're right. You're Rosita Ramirez, wife of the late Jim Lattimore. What do you want? Who are you? Tell me. We're friends of Jim. We knew him a long time. I've come to take you back home, to your child. Uh, I, to my child? That is right, said Dios quiere. You are the one that he... Si, sí, senora. Ramon, the man who preferred the mountains to helping a friend. You still suffer after three years. That makes our objective even more important. The friendship we shared with Jim is now yours, senora. I am sorry, but tequila is all I can offer my husband's friend.
Thought you were going to leave me in there to rot. I'm starting to worry. Yeah, I'll bet you were. Sheriff. Relax, Sheriff. You'll catch him again one of these days, but right now we need him. I got ways for getting information. You must kill them. Before they cross the Rio Grande, you get another of these when it's done. The price is up. What I paid for the last job? I know. The point is, this is another. So it's different. You are afraid, Matanza. There are only five coming. Yeah, but special. Special? Ah, special. You'll not see many guns as quick. Oh, bueno. But I want you to be sure. Well, there is nothing much surer than being dead, amigo. I'll wait for him at the canyon. They won't, won't get, get beyond, beyond it. There are the mountains. The canyon is to the south. It is good we stop now. It will be easier to ride through in the daylight. How many days at the Rio Grande? Two days and a night. We'll move out before sunrise. I'm glad we got Ramon. Why? Well, at least we stopped to eat. If he hadn't been here, John would have had us riding right through the night. Hey, Luke. The boy is pretty fast. Jim taught him well, eh? I hope he's fast when it counts. Jesus, you take the first watch. Here, you may need this later. I never get the first watch. Always the second, the hardest. Hey, Alan, you got a shirt I can have? You need a nanny more than a shirt, kid. Oh, well, listen to Pappy. Just make sure the next time you go out to get yourself whipped, you take my shirt off. <laughs> I'll put it on your couch, okay? Half price to a friend? Don't forget, it's secondhand unwashed goods. Hmm. <laughs>
They ain't worth the trouble. We've got work to do. Remember that. Well, look again, mi amigo. Twenty dollars between a lot of them. Be a waste of bullets. But I said nothing about money. It is waste to leave her in the town. Crime, in fact. Look at him, man. It is three months since. Uh... All right, muchachos. But nice and quiet. <laughs> Jesus is right. The Apaches have not been here. Look at the tracks.
not going very well, is it? Seven or eight already. Adios. Maladettos. If men are pushed, they fight. It ain't no good sitting here getting shot at. I think I got the answer. We must stop pushing Pereira. Go and tell the rest of the men to remain in position. And no firing. Vamos. Bueno, bueno. Gonzales strikes again. No, El Matanza. Matanza? Yes. He's a man who enjoys committing murder. He works for the Gonzales. And it was Matanza and his gang who attacked your hacienda. Yes. What happened that night? like that. That girl out there? Yes. But she is dead while I... You're alive, Rosita. We're all alive. We have to go on living.
buddy. You might be wondering why I didn't just shoot you. I prefer it like this. Kind of pays you back for all the men I've lost. Perriero, keep them company till the sun has done its work. You can watch them fry. Con mucho gusto. Hombre, where are the others waiting? The opening to the canyon. Uh, bueno. He's all gringo. El Matanza is an hombre muy bravo. He is more cunning than any Apache. Or a Mexicano, if it comes to that. I remember one day we were riding into El Paso. See what he wants. Ferrero, Felipe is dead. It's 
took your sweet time, didn't you? The deals with the pity that we missed watching them die. <laughs> hey, Fernando. <laughs> However, I think you should have brought their heads. They would have made good souvenirs. Matanza, I congratulate you. Bravo. My men are tired, senor. But with your uh, kind permission. Uh, they like to spend some money, eh? Mm. You are very welcome, amigo. And what your men cannot buy, we will give to them.
Get off your horse, amigo. <laughs> you. You work for Gonzalez? Sure you do. Anybody around here who wears a gun works for Gonzalez. <laughs> si, senor, but... Well, come on. But what? Now, you take a good look at us. We're friends of the late Jim Lattimore. I see you've met him. No, senor. I was not here then. I only heard what happened. We've come here to settle accounts. Tell the Gonzalez brothers. We'll be in the village by noon. Good luck, Ramon. We won't hurt you, will we, muchachos? Please, Senor Jose. Help me, Senor. No. No. Tiring of these swine. They overstay their welcome. Pepito, niño mío, Pepito. Better armed men than yes, an empty church, no? Horses, Manolo. The matter is closed. If you want, I can go with you. Would you like that? <gasps> I've told you before. Leave the boy alone. Vamos. And you, boy, you must learn how to deal with these dogs. <laughs> if they offer their hand, bite it. He's to stay inside. Senor! 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 What is it, Garinjo? Senor, three gringos. Friends of the Senor Jim Latimer. They're coming here at noon. Go call my brothers. You come with me. Si, Senor. Isn't that right? You watched them all die. You watched with your own eyes as they died in the desert. Fine. You're finished. Three of them are coming here right now. It's impossible. Impossible. Nobody'd come out of that furnace alive. They couldn't, idiot. I asked you for a certainty. I don't want your stupid opinion now. I already paid you for that certainty. And you've spent it. But still, that was my fault. But trusting a dumb gringo horse thief. Get out. Get out of my sight. Pedro, pick out four of our men. I want the best guns we've got. Si, senor. And the streets must be cleared. Vaya. We'll fight, my gringo friends. My way. Oh, 
Jose. Why don't you try to get some rest? You know we have to wait till Ramon gets back. You know what Jim used to say when things were bad? Take it easy. Everything is going to be fine. But he was wrong. Matanza never gave him a chance. Forgive me, John, but the Gonzales are men who would murder a child. We'll make it. I know, John. There's no point in worrying, but... They have my pepito. Ramon. John, I'm going with you. No. Please. I want to be there when you kill Jim's murderers. All right. What did you find out, Ramon? Look at this. The Gonzales are preparing well for us. Here lies the main street. They will come from the house at this end. At these two places, they have men hidden with rifles. And two more over here. Do they know there's five of us? No. The Pistolero reported seeing only three. And no one else knows we are here. I will be three. And uh, they'll also be three. not a Gonzales. John, he is not a Gonzales. No. So she came back. Just killed the best pistoleros that I had working for me. And they're waiting out there now. All five of them. All right, Matanza, take your men and earn the money I paid you. I want all five of them dead. Fire. Senora Rosita has returned. You know. 
know what has to be done. First three to the crowd. Four of you cover the road to the left, get. The rest of you come with me.
pig must die. Let me have the one in the middle.
quit it. This is murder. Samaria, loco. Pack it in, John. scratch right through. <laughs> Adios, amigo. If you ever need me again, you know where to find me. 